In this video, I want to talk a little bit more about what it means to take the expectation of a random variable. And in particular, we're going to talk about higher order moments of a random variable. Okay, so let's just first of all remind ourselves of what it actually means to take the expectation of a random variable, let's say x. Well, if x is continuous, then we know that this is just defined as the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of x times the probability density of our random variable x integrated across all space. And the sort of interpretation of the expectation essentially is if I was to repeat the sort of process x an infinite number of times, so the first time I get x1, the second time I get, let's say, x2, and I sort of keep repeating this process a number and number of times, stretching to infinity. If I then sort of take the average of this process, so dividing it by essentially the number of times for which I've actually carried out this repeat process, in the limit that n goes to infinity, this actually represents the expectation of our random variable x. So it's kind of the value which we would expect to get if we repeated the process a number of times and then averaged over all of those sort of repeats. So that's the expectation of a random variable. What does it then mean if I am interested in finding out what the expectation of, let's say, x squared is? First of all, how do we actually go about calculating this? Well, it's just the same method as we used before. We can just use the law of the unconscious statistician, which is just the expectation of x squared is just going to, be, going to be defined in terms of if I just replace this integral here with just having x squared rather than just x in it, then that will then find us the expectation of x squared. But what does it actually mean? Well, we can sort of think about it in the same terms that we thought about what it means to take the expectation of just x. Well, if I was to sort of repeat the process a number and number of times, and for each of those times I take my random variable and then I square it, and if I was to add together all of those squares of the random variable, which I get for every, petite, every repeat uh, measure, then that actually gives me the expectation of x squared. So it's the value of x squared that we would get if we repeated the process a sort of infinite number of times and, and then sort of averaged over those infinitely many tries. So that's the expectation of x squared. And that's actually referred to as the sort of second moment of the distribution. And it, it, it uses the word moment because in physics we refer to the moment of inertia. Uh, and that again has a sort of squared term in, involved in that. Um, but in statistics, it's possible to define higher order moments as well. One moment that we often are interested in is the expectation of x to the 4. And the sort of interpretation for this is instead of sort of squaring my random variable, now I'm sort of raising it to the power 4. Then if I repeat the process an infinitely many times, and I average over those sort of infinitely many tries, I then get the expectation not of e to the x squared, not of x squared rather, but of x to the 4. So this would be referred to as the fourth moment, but it's in principle possible to define any sort of moment of the random variable. 